Besides being a most interesting pastime and an invigorating exercise, Kamig is to be commended as a sport that is attended with little or no danger to life and limb. I've known only one such incident. The ball flew into the mouth of a certain boy and cut his tongue. This, however, was his own fault. His mouth should not have been open. He ought to have been breathing through his nostrils. If his mouth had been shut, he would have sustained no further damage beyond having his lips wounded and one or two teeth knocked down his throat.